Alright, hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix some bugs that may have occurred in your game uh, using Roblox Studio. Such as being teleported to a game that's not yours, or guns aren't shooting, or stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to address is models. These things on the side that you're probably most likely placing in your game unless you're making them for yourself. Now this one is called Destroyed Building, it's by whoever this guy is, Game Master 6. And this, this can break your game. And I'll show you how to find that out with anything that you place. First you want to go up here past all this confusing stuff. You want to go to View, and you want to click on this, and you want to click on this. And now you have these things up, and these kind of look confusing or look like something that only a smart person would know but it's actually really easy to use these and see this this if you click on this this is the thing that you've placed it, it would either be a model or something specific now you most likely want to have these things open when you start your studio so that you know how you can manage your stuff now if we open this up you can see all of its parts you can see that it's made out of blocks but what is inside these blocks you may ask this antivirus antivirus i'm whatever that means and this stuff is bad the antivirus does not mean antivirus it means it's a virus it'll break your game it'll mess with what you're trying to do and it's bad once you find one of these things then you're gonna want to delete the model another thing that can happen is you can place a model and there'll be tons of fire in it. Fire is something that looks, is something that's just named fire and has a little fire icon next to it. For instance, if we place a brick and we go to insert object up here or somewhere around, fire, there. If you find a model with a ton of this in it that's not supposed to have fire in it, that means that it's trying to break your game by lagging it by having tons of fire. Now, most of these don't work. It just makes your game slower. Now, if you have tools that aren't working and guns that aren't working that you've placed, another thing that could be a problem is something that I personally don't like very much. And this is... This is something that I think should be removed. And is the R15... Now, R15 is kind of cool. It allows for more movement uh, with Roblox characters and stuff. But the only problem with it is, is it can ruin your game. Now, what I mean by that is if you grab the regular, if you grab just a regular gun, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, this, uh, this blue hyper pistol. Now, to get stuff to work, if you don't know how to do that, you just move that over to here. And let's say you're playing the game. It's loading. And this blue hyper pistol doesn't seem to be working. That is for a very specific reason. That is because the game is either R throw or R15. Now to change this, because most guns are usually only usable with R6. Now to change this, you go up here to Game Settings. You click on that. You you click on... Oh my goodness. No, dang it. You click on Game Settings. You go to Avatar. You click on R6. And you hit save. And just uh, keep in mind this message if people are playing your game at the time. Hit yes. And the game will change to R15. And now all your guns should be working. So if we go back in. This gun... should be working like normal, like it's supposed to. 
So that is how to fix some problems in your games. If you have any questions, please put some down in the comments below. And I will see all of you guys next time.